What is up you guys, Reversal here, and uh, well, in the last 24 hours, uh, I, I, I made a video about that, I've been, that I've been sick and all the good stuff, and um, I'm recording this like a day later, so I feel a little bit better, and I promise you guys that whenever I felt better, that I was going to make a video uh, about whatever subject is going on for that moment, and um, well, I, need, I really need to tell you guys that in the last 24 hours, there's been three t type of people actually sending me messages on the line chat. And believe me or not, but my line chat has been absolutely crazy over the last, well, let's say 10 hours or so. Uh, people sending me messages all the time. The first group of people basically said, uh, get well soon, reversal. And to those people, thank you guys so much. much. Much love to you guys. Like, I really appreciate that you guys actually do send me messages like that. And it actually... Really strangely enough, did make me feel a little bit better. The second group of people who sent me messages were like, Hey, Reverse, there's this crazy event coming to Knights of Dragons pretty soon. I do have some questions. I was wondering when you're going to be making a video and all that good stuff. Well, to those people, this is going to be that video. And the third group of people who've been sending me messages uh, were people who were like, Hey, Reverse, I saw your being sick video. I hope you get well soon, but get your ass out of sight of bed. So that way you can actually make a video on this. And to those people, are you like freaking out of your freaking mind? Like I'm trying to freaking recover and you're like asking me for a video. Well, considering the fact that I do love you people, I do really, uh, I wanted to make this video for you guys regardless. Because yeah, I do feel that I'm kind of responsible to bring you guys the latest updates on this game. Even if I feel sick or not. Gonna try to bring this out to you guys as soon as possible. So, enough with the chat chat, let's get into business. Dark creatures have been scouted beyond the gates, prepare your guild. Sounds pretty promising to me. New epic raid bosses coming soon July 2014. Seems pretty amazing as well, next month there's gonna be something new Knights and Dragons. I do feel excited for this, I do feel excited for this, I do want to give you guys my thoughts and my opinions about this. Some of you guys seem to get the wrong idea, I'm not gonna point out different scenarios in which you guys actually suggested things that were gonna happen. Uh, some people say there's gonna be 6 stars on Night Dragons, absolute bullshit if you ask me. Um, you know, if you if there actually would be six stars on the game, it would be a great imbalance in the game. Um, I'm gonna be telling you guys what I think about this and how how I think this is going to work out. Okay, so the way I think it is going to work out is that it's going to be a variation on the things you guys have been seeing in Knights and Dragons already. For the first thing that I want to point out to you guys, uh, the thing that I wanted to point out is the fact that this event is absolutely going to be pay to win. Otherwise, Greed would not be bringing this out. What does that mean? That means that any of the top guilds out there will be taking first place on the Epic Raid bosses. Um, the reason why I'm saying first place is that I believe that this whole new event is going to be by a leaderboard. Just like the Guild Wars, just like the Epic Boss, just like the Arena. I think there's going to be a, a leaderboard for the amount of damage done on these raid bosses. You guys see it in the screen right now. There are three monsters in there. They're like orc kind of creatures. There are three of the same type of monsters. So I believe that there are going to be like monsters in the epic raids. That are going to be like stronger every single time a guild defeats that boss. And for that same purpose I also believe that like a guild like the death knights is going to take the first place. Because... Um, they obviously have the strongest armors and they spend the most time and effort and energy and they want to get their name out there. So that's what I believe. Now, the prizes that you'll be capable of winning uh, are going to be epic armors and that's what I truly believe that there is actually going to be some epic armors out there. However though, what I do believe as well is that it's going to go by ranking. So, for example, just like the actual damage leaderboards, uh, you guys will be getting rewarded by the way you place in so if you actually get into top 100 i feel that you'll be getting nice rewards but i don't necessarily think you guys will be getting free epics because of that i do believe that like the top 25 guilds or something like that will be getting an epic for their efforts but i don't believe you know i think it's gonna be really similar to what we already have in knights and dragons but this will just be a slight like switch up between what's going on it won't be guild versus guild it will actually be the the power of the guild in the, the raid bosses and I actually do think that gives a nice change you know it doesn't you know because of this this kind of eliminates the factor in guilds having to coordinate their attacks at least that is my whole like perspective on this I don't think it's going to be you know I don't think think it's gonna be much different than what I already said so 
I'm quite excited for this because that means that every single guild will be will be very independent on their own. And I think that's going to, you know, give us some nice, you know, changes in the leaderboards, I think. I might be really wrong on this. I think my explanation is kind of like close. You know, in, in case you guys don't know what raid bosses are, basically what raid bosses are is that an entire group of people try to take down one boss with their group. And based on taking down that group, you will be getting, uh, you will be doing uh, like X, you will be getting X amount of points or you will be getting a reward. And that's the thing, I, that's actually the way I think it's going to work out. And I think it's going to be really great. I do think that it's going to come out in the, in the beginning of July, not midway or nearing the end. Because otherwise Greed would not be announcing it. They basically already say like, yo, we got this event ready already. So that's what I think it's going to be. Um, in regards, I also do think that this kind of connects to the new armors that are coming out on Knights and Dragons. Like, there's been a lot of armors leaked. And I might make a video on that, but there's been another, a, a lot of armors leaked and a lot of epic bosses and people were like, what is it with the influx of armors and epic bosses? Well, I think it has everything to do with the epic raid bosses, so that's kind of like to get that out of the way. So that's really my take on the situation, the epic raid boss event. I hope you guys also can do something with the information that I said. I hope you guys are happy that I brought you guys this episode. I'm actually going to round this thing off here, so I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, make sure that if you guys like this episode, to <coughs> give it a thumbs up. <laughs> that actually hurts, hurts my head when I, when I talk that loud. Anyway, this has been Reversal for Knights and Dragons. I'm going to go straight back to bed now. I'm going to edit this whenever I feel a little bit better again. Get this episode as soon as possible to you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one.